Hey everybody, this is Laurie Robb. I'm gonna spend about 10 minutes talking to you today about the career essay paper. Okay, so I'm starting in Blackboard. If you notice in Blackboard on the left, there's a link for academic support. When you click on academic support, you get two options, three options, I don't know. And the first one is library resources. So when you click on library resources, you will be taken to the research guide that's attached to that class. Since I started in English 111, I'm looking at the English 111 guide, and under assignments, there is a page for the career essay, and this is where we're going, okay? So, Blackboard, Academic Support, Library, Career Essay. All right, so on this page, um, we're going to start at the top. There is a word sample paper for your APA career essay. I'm going to click that. I'm going to make sure I can share the screen. And this is your career essay paper. Okay, so you can open this in Word and just change all this up to be your paper. It's already set up with your uh, title page and your abstract and all the headings that go along with your paper. Okay, and in each section, I've copied and pasted just the bullet points that your teacher has given you in the assignment. So your paper is not going to have bullet points. Your paper is going to be written out in a paragraph form like you always do. So the bullet points are just kind of there to get your brain started. And the paragraphs that I've written out may give you some helpful hints about what should go in each section. And I've also included in-text citations so you can see how that looks as well, okay? So you have all the sections of your paper. It's all in the assignment, including the interview and the reflections and all the way down here to the reference page. And the reference page includes some really good information, should help you out. References that go along with the Occupational Outlook Handbook that we're gonna look at in a few minutes as well as the ONET. And the Occupational Outlook and the ONET are two of the main sources that most students use to um, work on this assignment, okay? So APA is always author, date, title, and then the name of the web page. If you just take these samples and just fill in your information, it should make your life a whole lot easier when you're working on your reference page, all right? Um, also, there's a place for the two appendices that are part of this assignment. So that is the Word document that's attached, that's on the re um, research guide for the career essay paper for you. So be sure you use that, all right? So I'm gonna go back to the career essay Blackboard page. Okay, and that whole big sample paper was right here. There's also information about citations. I would tell you, uh, recommend that you go to this little tab. And for APA help, use the APA 7 citation help. So um, some of your sources have to be from the library and others you can just use the internet, whatever sources you need. So when you're not using library resources and you have to create your own APA citations, this can be very helpful. If you're using Bibli or something like that, then you could also verify what you've seen, what you've got, and make sure it's correct. So on the APA citation page, there's lots of different type of web pages with or without authors or dates, uh, books, even like TED Talks. So if you're not sure about doing something, just click on each of those boxes and you'll see that it gives you a sample of how it should look. And you just follow that sample and make yours correct. Okay. So on to the sources for this assignment. Back to the career essay. Uh, as I mentioned before, the Occupational Outlook and the ONET are um, two of the main sources that almost all of our students use, as far as I know. And these are on the internet, but your teacher will more than likely consider them library sources. So you can ask if he, she consider, considers it a library source. Most of the teachers I work with do but you probably do need to check. Um, they used to be actually print books sitting on the shelves, but now they're not. So Occupational Outlook looks like this. 
you just put your occupation in and while I go it was showing up as busy I'm kind of like I might be taking a chance but let me try I'm gonna click on dental assistance and it opened right up so here you have this is basically what all of the pages in occupational outlook look like so you have all these little tabs my dog just pushed my chair um, and then you have all these statistics uh, job outlook all these this wonderful information that really matches right up to what's in that assignment and note note that this whole website is one source so you can't count each of those each of these tabs as a separate source it's all going to go in the reference list once okay but this is really good data um the let's see i believe the date that it's posted is here at the bottom so you can look at the bottom at the modified date and that's going to be really important for you because you want the most up-to-date information and this suggested citation is normally not apa or mla so use the citation that's in the sample paper it will make your life easier okay so that is the occupational outlook and most of your professions will be in there if you can't find yours um, then find something close okay if you want to use it the onet is very similar the onet is more of a touchy-feely kind of thing so instead of all those tabs with statistics about how many and how much and all those things you'll have information about skill sets that are needed for the occupations so when you go in here and you same thing you type in the occupation you'll get information and then you're, you're going to use the reference that i gave you in the sample paper to make this happen okay so let me go back to the re, uh the research guide these like i said they are you can just get to them on the internet most teachers consider them library sources films on demand is a library source so when you click into it you may hit that um the blackboard wall like i just did we have to put in your blackboard information and then it will open for you and films on demand is a good backup plan if you can't get that face-to-face -face interview that's required for in-person interview that's required for this semester okay so if you can't get it and you need a video interview backup this could be a good place for you to nurse and interview wait i even add career this time let's see what this does so when I do that, the first thing on my list is this interview. And this could be used instead of a face-to-face -face interview because of the pandemic um, that's happening now. You know, some of us won't be able to get in touch with people that are working in certain fields. So you would cite this just like you do your other sources. If you do a face-to-face -face interview or an email or a phone or whatever, or a Zoom inter interview, then it would not go on your reference list. But if you use an actual source like this, you cite it just like everything else. And everything in Films on Demand has a transcript over here. You can actually quote if you wanted to. You can find out her name and a citation below. So just like all your other library resources, we've got you covered for your citation. All right. I'm going to close that. We're going to go back to the research guide and we're almost done. So you've got uh, those two good sources. You have films on demand. Even if you do have your own interview, you can use that as another source. Will be another library source. College Foundation is excellent for saving money, but there's also a whole cluster in there for careers. So a lot of the information you're going to see may refer back and forth to the Occupational Outlook Handbook. It's kind of considered the gold standard. But this is another source. This is not a library source. It's an internet source, but it's very credible. Some fields may also have a chart that compares um, salaries across the state. Ferguson's Career Guidance is another library source. So you would hit that blackboard wall where you have to put your information in to get to it. They also have career inter, um, videos. I think they're duplications of Films on Demand for the most part, but you're welcome to use it. There's information in there about different careers. We have eBooks. Obviously, these would need that Blackboard login. Credo Reference is kind of like an encyclopedia database. 
Um, and then we also have this e-library, and all this is clickable, so you can just click right into the resource, get past the Blackboard wall, and open up in, um, articles, ebooks, and all that good stuff with citations attached. And these are also ebooks. So I hope this has been helpful. If you're on the library page and you're not sure what to do, and you see the little chat now box, chat. We can, you can chat with us. We'll answer your questions. You can email me directly. It's laurie.rob at rccc.edu. And we are still here for you. We are still working and we're still um, just waiting to answer your questions. So I hope this has been useful and um, have a great day.